We are back and with the lovely, the talented, the beautiful Fair Abram. Listen, we're digging blowing. I don't care what anyone else says. And we, I have a couple of professional musicians here, and they were like, Hey, I did it myself. I got creative one night. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. One night? One night in Fairland. Oh, my God. Okay, Ooh. I think, oh my God. So why did you have to say Fairland? You already got me excited. I was told by my girlfriend to be, behave tonight. So oh. it's tough. You're, uh, you're, you are stunning. Thank you. I um, really appreciate it. But I have to say, like, I, the, the other album, the first album was fine. You know, it was kind of sad. It was based off of my uh, New York Times bestseller right. book. But yeah, but this is this is really catchy. Yeah, this is fun. Anti-bullying. Yeah, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's what it was. That's yeah. the message. <laughs> yeah, blowing the bullies away. Oh, oh. be true to yourself. I'm sorry. Did we just again <laughs> a just typical dude? I heard <laughs> blowing and I got excited. That's but cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> wow. wow. I can't believe we're in the room with two New York Times bestselling authors. Good. It's right. Yeah, it's all around. So, uh, I have to say, doing, going down the rabbit hole of research on Far Abrams. Oh boy, I'm sure you're I mean, lost. Li- I mean, I'm a huge Howard fan, and I've done Howard too a bunch of times. Oh, I love Howard Stern. He's great, and um, but hearing that interview and all and all the other ones, and reading everything. But I'm way different than two years ago. You are, or however long. No, ago. You, but you can see the growth. I I do see it, but that's what I found so interesting, and I'll tell you. Yeah. The knee jerk of just reading press and not knowing you mm-hmm. and not really <laughs> taking the time to do research is okay. Another reality star who's a hot mess yeah. and is just loud. And, and, and with that loudness, she's getting all this attention, right? Yes. But I have to say, like I told these guys, I said, I'm, you have me so confused <laughs> because <laughs> I see a lot of s- super smart decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you've, you've diversified with your career. It can't be a coincidence that of that huge, huge series, you're not only yeah. one of the, you're the only one that's <laughs> come on to me, to me, that's come on to me. I hope I don't offend the people from the other show, but that's really hit the mainstream. And, um, oh, definitely. Kat. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, no, they, the girls admit it. I mean, we were yeah. just in New York working together and we're promoting the new season of Teen Mom 2, which airs tonight. So Woo-hoo. that's awesome that I got to yeah. be here and share that. But yeah, Thank the you. girls. The girls love me, what I do, and I mean the ratings were the highest rated show on MTV right now, so I'm and it, and it, you know, playing it's, for everyone. It's <laughs> it's no you know, with, with Snooky who you know, her podcast, it's on podcast one, they won't even admit this huh. because for their advertisers, they hate admitting this. They're, she's far and away number one yeah. with in her downloads. And yeah. and you look and then Bethany Frankel, who I know you did her show as well, but there's a difference between Bethany and the other housewives. Yeah. It's not just because she was more boisterous or she said um, different things than the other ones. Yes, there was some of that halfway, but the other stuff was all the other work that she did. And, you know, I, I don't say like so I, I know some of this, some of the things you've said. I know it's a lightning rod, but some of the stuff that seems crazy. I don't know. As I read the quotes, I'm like, mm. I kind of I don't know why I, I do Ferris speak. <laughs> I guess I understand your language a little better. Um, the other thing that I that I now I want to I'd love to hear your thoughts on is is and I know some of the stuff you've probably already talked about a lot, but I I couldn't find a response. Mm-hmm. Um, when again doing the research, talking about the uh, in your past and and being a you know have, being a victim of abuse growing up. Yeah. When I read about it again, my cynical knee jerk was like, okay, come on. She's just throwing this out there, right? Because it's, it's what people you think in the business do to get press or whatever. And then to read in 2010, your mother actually is arrested for this very, right? At some point yeah. in time, she's arrested for, so it, it's, yeah, I, this is real. I feel like nowadays people don't really know what real or fake is. And, I, you know, just from growing up, until now I've had so many people act like I always lied and I think when you are a person who's subject to people who always act like they're liars the only thing I can be is truthful open and honest because I I dislike liars I can't stand even people saying that I'm a liar so when I say like if I'm talking about rape or violence or abuse I'm being completely real but I'm keeping it as open as I can because 
you know, I just want people to be heard. It's funny. Go, even growing up, you said you were always honest. You mean your high yes. school years. So or, uh, I mean, even younger. I think in the high school years, we lied a little and sneaking oh. in our girlfriends or boyfriends. Oh, right. yeah. Now. <laughs> right. <Of course. laughs> the white stuff. lies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you do you ever miss, did you ever wish that it didn't go this way where you could have maybe just had what we always term the civilian life where you, like you, would have been amazing at some college you'd be a hot sorority girl and is there any part of you that feels you missed out on any of that or you know i used you to happy with i used to think about that and i was like oh i you know because you know there's like some in between years um because i rushed out of high school graduated early rushed out of college and there was just some weird in between where i was just like floating and i was like am i missing out am i not did I miss my teen years? All these questions because everyone was acting like I was missing out on things because I also had a child when I was a teen. And I have to say now living my life, I feel like I lived a much better life. Yeah. I, I mean, I would agree as an outsider, but I always wanted in yeah. the back of your head if that was something. I also admire the fact that you, in the middle of all the, you know, the fame and the MTV, you went to community college to study culinary arts. Yeah. And I got two degrees, management, culinary arts. I'm still working on my dream restaurant, building this huge brand. So hopefully that happens soon. But I love, but again, I think you're, you're just saying that because you used to always saying that in your interviews and things like that. But I think we have to take a moment. That takes I a lot of, I mean, you guys comment on this. To me, I'm, that's super impressive to me because right. how many people have that level of fame? And like they're like, no, 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 no. Now it's time to, I'm famous. It's time for club appearances and nothing mm -hmm. else. Right, and, just you know, to maintain. But the fact that you took a step back, I really admire. I mean, again, that like confuses <laughs> me to, to, you know, to know that you went into a community college. Like, Yeah, I mean, it was top rank, like top 10 in the nation when I was there. What made I you want to do that with, with um, cooking? So before any of this, like model, modeling, acting, and all this reality television business, um, I really was passionate about cooking and opening up a restaurant. And honestly, I you know, thought I'd be married to the man who I had my daughter with, mm -hmm. um, and I would just go to school and we would you know, work together. And that's my life. I would have been happy in Council Bluffs, Iowa, where I was born and raised, and that's just really all I was about. As simple as that sounds, that's what I thought my life was going to be. And I was really happy. Um, but then everything changed. So I started being more successful in reality television. Um, Sophia's father passed away. Right. And then I just had to get my stuff together because I kind of fell apart. <laughs> but now are you trying to kind of relive that life that you that you wanted originally by trying to open this restaurant, by going to school? Like, are you trying to pick those pieces up and place them in your current life? No, I don't really think I'm picking anything up. I've just been strategically planning a good brand that I could internationally franchise. So that takes a while. I mean. But you took the time to study yeah that's what impresses me so my my over here these this is my my matzo ball and my meatball my matzo meat, meatball yeah, yeah. yeah. i gotta have it yeah. by the way no no by the way no 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 by the way that's another thing that made a lot of sense to me because yeah. i'm italian and i'm sicilian i should have brought my mother's so sauce we I, have wine too i wish Ooh, really? i'm sending you guys some i would send you some i haven't Please. had good gravy in a long time i'm surprised you call it sauce oh well i say <laughs> whatever i want no no she's next she's next generation Oh. My mo mother calls it gravy. Your mother calls oh. it gravy. But, but let me just well, tell you something. Well, they all say whatever they want in my family. <laughs> but, well, again, Italian and Sicilian, they say whatever they want. And so <laughs> right? Ashley knows this too. So just, and Lauren knows it too. So when you're Italian and Italian Sicilian, you're also just fucking batshit crazy. Yeah. So it just is. It's just how we are. So that's why I'm like, oh my God, this all makes sense. But the fact that, like, I always tell these guys, like, listen, if you want to be the best at anything you're trying to do, yeah. You have to learn. So if you attend Tony Robbins seminar, that's what he'll tell you. He's like, go study. Oh, I read his book. Right. So you right. So but he you, was like that one last book. I read all, all of those. Right, again, but again, that speaks to who you are yeah. is that you're trying to be better. You're trying yes. to grow. So by you could have just said, let mm -hmm. me just go get some investors. I'm famous. Give me a restaurant. I love cooking. And by the way, uh -huh. many housewives do this with their cookbooks yes. or whatever. And it's because you know, literally like, well, I like spaghetti, so here's my cookbook. You know what I mean? And yeah. then some writers go and write it, and most of the time they make a lot of money off it or it's a bestseller, and sometimes it isn't, but yeah. it's very short-sighted. Yes. But when you really learn, you learning business, you're learning cooking and cool, you know, it, you're really setting yourself, I, again, yeah. I, 
I, you just have me. I'm puzzled. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited I'm hard for to my puzzle. future. I am too. <laughs> I am yeah. too. No, I really am. And you know, going, you know, going back to the, some of the stuff you've experienced, you know, yeah. when, when you, I know with the, the first, uh, tape that came out, the first sex tape or whatever, and yeah, yeah. You, you talking about, um, being drugged and raped and like was you know like i know that i just I, again i have that from wiki and by the way if anyone doesn't know wikipedia everything's accurate on Rick, wikipedia <laughs> yeah. so if so you see it on wiki then it's totally true must be true right my it's teachers, gotta be my teachers just told me to stop using that it wasn't a credible source <laughs> i believe it um i i, I felt you know i left a lot of those feelings in a therapy session with dr jen um, was on yeah. TV, no, no. She yeah. seems like she's great with you. Yeah, she is, and she's really a good friend. I can, all, you know, I don't have as many issues as I used to have with men, but I always, you know, gotta, you know, when you have boundaries, you need to keep them. And uh, she really encourages me as a woman who kind of struggles with, you know, you have to admit things that weren't so great. And so, yes, that whole experience wasn't During so that great. Time. And yeah, I don't really like to talk about no, it's that. Right. We but don't yeah. have to then. <laughs> but to to me, these are things that kind of make you who you are. Mm -hmm. And you can either oh, you yes. can either go I'm, downhill yes. with it, right? Yeah. And you can use it as a crutch the rest of your life. And again, I not that this is all about Tony Robbins, but he does he specifically talks about rape victims. Yes. And he'll say he'll deal with people who ten or fifteen years later will say, Oh, well, I my, you don't understand. I'm a wreck or my life's a mess because I was raped fifteen, twenty years ago. And he was he will say to I promise you that's not the reason why he's mm -hmm. like the rapist. I want to kill him myself, but there's other issues that we have to fix. Yeah. And so I'm just saying the so fact I'm that I'm fixing all of my issues. Well, we're all a work <laughs> in progress anyway. Yes. Um, but that's interesting. But I, you know, I, it, it's just, I just, I have to say, I'm just the, the, the limbs that you go out on to for the things you say, but then the fact that you're able to back it up, I just, I don't know why I'm in awe right now. Because I, I am a stand-up person. I think that's what it is. And my grandparents and my family just taught me to be that way. So what was the, you know, on the, on the dirty, you, you, I was, let's say, so I'm doing my own research. Nick, Nick Ritchie. Ritchie. You know yeah, Nick Ritchie. Nick I love Nick Ritchie. Right? I texted him today. He's got a great yeah. voice. I'll tell you yeah. that much. And he does not <laughs> hold back. Voice. When did you meet him, if you don't want me asking? Oh, man. I met Nick Ritchie. I mean, before you had kids, before all oh, this wow. stuff. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah, and life just happened since we've been friends. And it's like he has two kids now. He's been through so much. Did you listen to – well, my we talked about his children and all the things. He lost one child. Um, but, yeah, I've known him for probably like four years maybe, longer. Wow. Okay. He's had you on a couple times on his show yeah. too. I loved listening to this interview because, like Kevin said, to me you're kind of an anomaly. And Aww. so the more that I learn about you. I mean, do you guys you, agree with me? Because I'm, I'm an old guy, so I might be out of my mind. No, absolutely. <laughs> I am out of Which my mind. Which is why we were all so excited to get you in because, you know, you don't really know somebody until you meet them. And even when you do meet them, you still don't know them. But yeah. uh, you can get to know them a little better. Um, and I thought listening to you on the show, he really, even if he's your friend, uh, he goes in on you. Like of really asks you the questions, especially um, coming off of this uber incident that happened and mm -hmm. people were being so brutal to you on social media yeah. so i was i was glad that you kind of had a chance to talk about it there yeah which was it was really nice to hear um but it was still a little confusing to me so <laughs> ask um, those questions yeah then. and by the way and not to me and i can't wait for you to ask the question oh, really yes because because <laughs> maria said the same things as you uh -huh. and people and i even have a friend who's a highly decorated police officer mm -hmm. that is sensitive to what you said if it's what i think you're going to say so well ahead. i was just gonna say about the, talking about this feeling that woman women get like yeah. the, that feeling you get where you are in danger um and i was curious if you could go into that a little more because how do you know the difference between that feeling when you feel like somebody is going to physically attack you or sexually and attack this is, you this was, just give it more context it, what did she say specifically so about when we're talking about the uber incident you felt unsafe like you were almost going to be raped that yeah. was what, what you said and people were really upset because they said he never even touched you well thank god right of course thank god and, <laughs> like, and you said but you knew you had this feeling um, and I have a hard time understanding that feeling because I, when you're a woman that looks like you, I'm sure everybody looks at you with those eyes like, oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. I wish that I could sleep with her. I'm sure a lot of men think that. So how can you tell the difference between 
she's so beautiful, I wish I could sleep with her, and she's so beautiful, I wish I could sleep with her, I'm going to act on that. Okay, so I'm going to just illustrate how I've learned, and sometimes it's just not even my past experiences that help me evaluate a situation, it's just a God-given instinct, a woman's inner body reacts, and it's like, it just kind of takes over like more so my gut and my stomach area and it's just like I'm not safe I shouldn't be here and you need to leave that's something that'll just internally like just I don't know maybe it's just passed in through my family but I know it's happened to other women and with my self-defense courses and all these other things that I've taken I've heard many women say that they have the same thing and when you don't listen to it you get into a bad situation whether that's rape whether it's some other situation that you ignored and you didn't listen to that feeling in your body and the other issue when you're just saying well how do you tell physically by looking at someone what's going on or what are they thinking and blah 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 blah. I grew up a little bit in Miami and I travel all over Mm -hmm. and then I also did like gentlemen's clubs appearances I mean I've done a lot of things around men So I have to say, I don't think every man I see is about doing things in an improper way, but there are certain instances where things just don't make sense. It seems very unsafe. And it wasn't just like, so to validate that I knew what I was talking about, it wasn't just me who thought this guy was trying to rape me or do some other things. It was also my security guard that night. It was also my boyfriend at the time, Simon, who ended up getting a physical altercation. And the police officers had to physically move him out of there because he kept chasing me around. I don't know, but there's certain signs where you see someone and they are mentally unstable and they should not, for one, be an Uber driver. And a lot of places don't screen for that. And Uber is one of them. Mm. And you know, how many times you guys in situations we, I know, so Maria, you know, my girlfriend, yeah. I can't tell you how many times because she said she calls it her Greek, which sense, you yeah. know, you have your Italian, your, fa- yeah. your Pharisee. I don't know what senses. to call it. I'm just like it's spidey sense. It's your Pharisee sense. Yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times people will just say to me, you know what? I just know. OK. And I do have friends who have that sense. Yeah, I'm really good our, about feeling. I know. I listen, like, I'm, I'm sensitive to it because our uh, our our security guy, Joe, he's a he's from Malden, Mass. He's a former street fighter and this guy just knows. Yeah. And, and you know what? And I've learned at an age where it's like, and he will, he won't base it on, they said this or they did. He's like, I just know. Yeah. And do you really want to find out no. the hard way what they're up to? And, and again, I have a friend who's highly decorated as a police officer, as an investigator too. Yeah. He's on Dateline all the time. Oh, yeah. Not to, you know, whatever, like go Hollywood with him, but just to qualify how talented he is. And he says a lot of times, He's like, we can't prosecute on a sense. We can't prosecute. I, well, a lot of girls say he just, just he gave me that look, and she, you know, he, mm-hmm. this guy gave me that look, which was, I'm okay, sweetie. Yeah, you're mine. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. He's like, and unfortunately, we can't prosecute on that. And I can't tell you, Kevin, how many times when we can't, later, something it's, happens. It's, it's yeah. an obituary, or it's a, it's a viol, a strong violation. So and that's serious. And again, I think where your some of your quotes are taken out of context, maybe no one understands. Now, on the flip side of it, if this is being pulled out of thin air, then obviously shame on you and, you know, whatever. But but um, yeah, I, you know, it's it's I just think that, I just thought there was more to it when I was able to hear the interview. I said, oh, my God, I, I don't know why I, I, I like I said, I understand Farrah speak. Something. I mean, like, it's I feel like it's so simple to share. I don't know if. Maybe I'm not communicating in the right way, but no, if people I think, think it's bullshit. You get a Roxy because no, Roxy's always my no, like translator. <laughs> she like understands the crazy things in my brain. Yeah, but you know, also I'm from Boston. I'm Jewish. I ask all of the questions that I have on my mind. So that's why I'm glad. I mean, I've had bad situations in Boston. Those boys. We're huh? tough. Really? Yeah. The, we, we can't got help some it. Tough ones. We so, get excited. Um, you said another interesting thing about this Uber situation too, which was that there's a lot of worse things that happen to people in Ubers than being raped. Yeah. Um, and uh, to me, 
I think of rape as the worst of the worst things that happened. Do you? I mean, I think I think if you're running people over or if you're killing people, I think that's even worse. I mean, to take my life and then my whole family's like left without me. I think that's really sad. Okay, that's one level beyond rape. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. that is. I was just curious about that. Okay. Um, I you know again being a Boston pig, low life. Um, I, I was know. excited when you were talking about. I enjoy Boston. I was <laughs> no, but um, listen, I was. I'm so bad, so I'm. You know, it's hard between my attention span and and again my midlife, which we I always talk about on the show. <laughs> but I'm hearing this interview, and the only thing that stood out about me was was the sex toy. Oh, which the I just, sex toys. I oh, we're, your... we're launching more of the sex toys. I'm gonna oh. send them to you. Oh. 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 Uh, yeah. yes, yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So what? So so the past oh, one was God. your was the uh, mold of your. Yeah, so we had the back door, the full on, and uh, the stroker for men. And then for the women, we had <laughs> so the So generous of you. Rabbit, You're like a the saint. G-spot, the like bullet. You, okay, wait, the new ones? What are the new ones? Um, So the new ones, we're doing a photo shoot tomorrow for them. So I'm so happy it'll look so way am I. better. Okay. Um, And it's more about like the twerking butt, the foxtail, and some other things. Anything for women? Yeah, the foxtails for women. So what's a oh. foxtail? Is it actually like a tail? <laughs> it's like um, like you'd put it in your back door. Okay. Like nice. you're the fox. Oh, like okay. yourself, oh. or when you're yeah. at, when you're with somebody oh. else, you it's a two-person game. I mean, you could game. do it by yourself if you wanted. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a dildo. You're that single ladies for your butt. Is that what it is? Sorry, I've they no call idea. it like a butt plug usually. Like oh, okay. But we're calling okay. it. Yeah. Copy that. When she asks oh, questions, that. she really needs to know because she told totally. me she's never like really gone down there on herself much. She doesn't watch porn. So no, I don't, I've never seen porn. We got to get her into oh, it a little bit. I'm sure no, actually, I take that back. Pic. I've been forced to see situations that are really grotesque, but I've never like. I'm not about the gross stuff, stuff that. but I'm about because I want to talk about the porn later. Yeah, I want to get to the porn later because. Toy. Well, you know what? Maybe okay, we'll wait. have like a sex toy party here one day. I would oh, yes. So wait. So why? Okay, because I'm. A, I'd like to think I'm a bit of a brand Are your marketing cadets expert. Okay with this? They, they're gonna love. <laughs> yeah. Look at, look at it. It's a full booth. Look at the staff. Everyone's re- look at that. All oh, thumbs up. Go. Go. Really Four good. thumbs up. What, okay, so what do you guys think of the virtual reality adult entertainment oh, that they're going into? I, I have a lot level. to say about that. I, I, I want to hear. Okay, I think virtual reality is the next generation of all digital. I think we're all going to be just. Fully into the digital reality. So are you world. gonna be doing that? Is that what well, you're teasing? Well, do- <laughs> I'm doing a virtual reality web series that I'm starting you- right now, oh. and then just you know, right? Whoa. So you have a bunch of I different have- women. Wait a second. So adult web series or just a? a it's a, just like a my reality, like series. reality web series. Okay. And then with the twerking butt, if you guys have seen it, if you ever Google it, it comes with the 3D glasses already. Oh okay. God. So um, I I don't know what the so so twerking butt with is for guys. Yeah, right, and guys so or girls. I mean, whatever. You, you could just put it in, and, like it's a threesome there. But yeah. Okay, and uh, I don't know what video this is. Oh, on Sexy Fantasies. Shout out. Do oh. We, do we th- ever think of? I was thinking. Everyone maybe, loves the twerking butt, and for some reason, oh, there I am. Oh, yeah, you. Okay. They oh, oh. keep. They always put it by me, and I was like, all right, it's my time to get a twerking butt. Wait, so, Wait, so everyone it, lo- it twerks oh, on me. your penis. How cool? Like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure when out. When you insert, it starts to twerk yeah. on your penis. I mean, you'll be watching a video in there, and believe me, it'll turn you on having the goggles on and then touching that, whatever that thing does with your vision, it does something. Okay, like, so it's I'm hard to, like, I'm hard to, like, you know, like, I'm researching, but when something's good, it's just good. So it's the virtual reality goggles that you put on, and then you are, you, you're seeing, you know, everything around you. It's literally like you turn your head, you see everything around you, and it's also that mixed with this twerking The butt. twerking butt's a separate product. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's a separate. Product. Okay, so no, it's no. two different things. Yes. So she's been wearing, she's putting her finger in there, and she has the goggles on at the same time. Yeah, so but maybe next time I'll stop in with mine. Your finger okay, makes you feel it in your penis. No, this is. I mean, demi- you're gonna feel it in your. Okay, vagina. so wait, wait, just I don't not, know. we're a lot bigger in audio, <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to qualify. So yeah. it, it lo- it's a, it looks like a, uh, a, a rubber butt, which is your butt, right? Mm-hmm. Is it to scale? And this it's one? cyber skin, so it's like, it's better than real skin. Gotcha. Okay, so you would. Put in the penis, right? You and don't you have could to put in the penis. You put you in your finger. in your finger. Okay. You could do finger. I actually was like, ooh, like with my finger. But and then it, that just excites your finger, right? I mean, no, it doesn't. Girl, if you were there, your whole body would be excited. I don't care how lame you are, you would get excited. Just with the finger in. Because I'm pretty like, this isn't going to work. <laughs> work. 
And it did. And so, and then do you, and then do you need the goggles with it or? I would always have the, like the goggles makes the whole thing. Gotcha. I okay. love that I'm in this video. They didn't tell me. So you put on the virtual reality goggles, you put your finger in the hole and you feel it down below. Or you can do whatever you want. Let's going back to the original Farrah <laughs> part. Yeah, I mean, like relax. The, you know what the, 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 the vagina, the, uh, one of the things he had said, and again, being a degenerate that stuck out in my brain was mm -hmm. that it was small. Oh, that right? it was tight. Yeah, he said that. He couldn't <laughs> and, fit and when in I brought there. this up to Ashley, she goes, "She had a baby." I'm like, "Yeah, but she must have got it back in shape, right?" I mean, like, well, it's Kegels. about my vagina, so it is what it is. <laughs> you are you like? Is it because of Kegels, or how do you get your vagina I mean, tight I'm again? I'm just like a fit. Like young human being, I guess. Just went back into just you know, but he, I had together. no stretch marks or nothing. <gasps> he I had an gifted. interesting question. <laughs> he because about the guys that are well endowed, like the black guys, they're not able to. I mean, stretch it, put some loop, <laughs> slide in there. He you know what said, though? I have never heard any guy have any issues with my toys or anything. Well, with your real parts, yeah. you've never heard anything. You've no, never heard any complaints. Fake Part but what about I the real sell. ones? Have the real ones has it been a problem? I mean, I don't hear anything in no. that category, but no. No, you've had no complaints. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one, like that one, because that when I'd heard that, I'm like, wow, this is getting more exciting by the moment. Mm. But again, yeah. I shouldn't be probably focusing on that. I should be a good boy. So yeah, we'll have like a. I would love to. <laughs> romance you know, party in the party van. What do you mean you shouldn't focus on it? The entire <laughs> vagina is designed after her, so it's interesting to know like how that came to be, Kev. Yeah, I you, mean, you can do a dick mold if you're like, ooh, I want to make my own mold. Why not do, it do for your the show. own? I saw people do it with their stomachs when they're pregnant. You know, you can <laughs> mold your stomach. I did that as well with oh, my belly when I was pregnant. It was so cute. I yeah. actually went to visit my mom last week, and we brought it out. I was like, I need to put this on a wall. I decorated that thing so awesome. That's cute. That's really yeah. cute. It's like, it's so interesting how, is life just changing this much where you can do, you know, be in the, dabble in the porn world, but then still be on MTV? Isn't it amazing, like, where we've come? <laughs> like, I really think that it's with you kids, it's like, a, it's a different world, you know, that we're living in. Because I don't think 20 years ago you'd be able to pull this off. I well, think you'd make a lot more, you'd make probably make a lot more money in porn because there was a lot more money in that, mm -hmm. but I don't think you'd be able to be mainstream like you are now. And I think that's, yeah. again, it just, it talks about where this is all going. I mean, how did I have a baby if I didn't have sex? That's really, I mean, when people are so narrow minded and that's all I can say to that. I remember even when I was younger <laughs> and in high school and in, 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 in college and, and, you know, friends would say, They'd want to fix me up with a girl, and they'd say, "Oh no, no, but yeah, she's got a kid." I'm like, "That's awesome." Means that <laughs> obviously, you know. I don't know. You know, okay. with me dating, I don't know if I would prefer a guy who has kids. But the reason I would like it oh. is if the girl was 18 <laughs> or 19 or 20. I mean, then she's banging. That's great. Okay. Kevin, you say it like she's that, down, but at the DTF. end of the day, you what? are the best guy I yeah. know. That can't possibly be your mindset to think, all right, because she's had sex, she's uh, I'm listen, going. For but you know it. what? Some of the guys Back that I was, day. yeah, yeah like in high school, my guy friends no, would men, say the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I was friends with more guys, but they. Definitely had their I, words. I think your hormones, you know, it's, it's you wait, from like, whatever, 14 to, I swear, to like your late 20s, 30, you're just nuts. That's all you're thinking about, yeah. unfortunately. And that's, <laughs> that's why I say go go a little older and, you know, that's whatever. And I, and I also like that. I saw that in your interview, too, that you like dating businessmen. Yeah, for sure. Is that Would you say that's your, what is your type? Is there a Farrah uh, type? I, I think it's more business, usually. What about looks wise? Mm, kind of tall, dark, and handsome right now. Ash likes to play matchmaker, so we'll I see. do. I do. <laughs> so right now. Yeah, yeah. That's Why do you say right now? You you kind of go on and off with things. No, I mean it just depends. You know, if I have a connection with someone, it doesn't. They don't need to be like picture perfect or anything. So I have a question for you. <laughs> um, in, in general, because I actually I. I think it takes a strong woman, a strong person in general to be able to speak their mind uh -huh. because for me, sometimes I want to say something and I'm just like, so I'm just such a people pleaser that I'm just like, 
okay, I won't say anything. But you really put yourself out there on social media, you know, especially not just defending yourself because there are very there are a lot of times where people have just come at you. Mm-hmm. Um, but in general, was that always something that came easy for you, or did you feel like just after so much scrutiny and and so much negativity from other people that you were just like, I have to start like telling people like creating boundaries, and then you just got really comfortable with it? I mean, from when I was little, I was. Yeah, I could tell. I, you, tell, I okay. could tell that's who you were. I always was kind of. Snooky was Snooky. Yeah. Bethany was Bethany. Farrah's yeah. Farrah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I did. But she, you know, she does bring a good point because you do some, again, some of the quotes that I just blow my mind yeah. that, that you'll say. Um, and speaking, of some, and then some of the celebrities that you'll talk about, that's, it's brave, you know, in this business, like to, so I, you know, some of these people, like I, I know a lot of them. I'm friends with, I'm blessed to be friends with some of them, and some of them I don't know. But I'm always nervous. E- even doing this show, mm-hmm. Maria, just last night said to me, you know, I heard your show, and you're talking about this, that, and the other thing. Like, what are you doing? You're gonna kill me, you know, Maria. And uh-huh. and I, I, so I, it's something, you know. And and I'd love to just kind of run some of these quotes by and and have you, maybe about at least some of your situations with celebrities. Like, okay. I, I looked at the. The uh, the famous interview with a guy didn't know anything about you. It was totally awkward. You gotta love that. <laughs> oh my god, that, that was, was so insane. awkward. And I, I thought it was hilarious <laughs> to it was. watch back. It was yeah, really you did a great funny. Job. I was like, and I told him, please don't use that. And of course, they're like, oh, what a great idea. I'm gonna use it. Right. Okay, so which go I think with worked it. perfectly. Yeah. I think it was great that it got out there. And I also think it was cool that he owned up to being an idiot. He basically yeah. did. Well, what with, else is he gonna do? With no, that? I mean, I've, are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys with mics? Oh no! It would have been like, oh, there's a million things he could have went on the yeah. counterattack. Yeah, I so I, I gave him credit for being like, yeah, but I'm a schmuck. But <laughs> but but then you kind of warmed up a little more when he was like, all right, I did make a big mistake. You're like, yeah, yeah. He, right, he ultimately fine. made the right move, but yeah. with but with with in the moment, I could tell you really weren't <laughs> hearing things. Did you really not know who Leonardo DiCaprio was? I do know who he is. Right, I thought so. I was just so in Vegas land. Yep. That I was like, let's just focus on one topic that day. I was really exhausted. I get it. Okay. Is so. Vegas land separate from Fairland? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> You got to two lands. You got to go out to of. three clubs a night. You have to cater. I That's have to what cater it to like a to team. Me. I have to do so much, so many other things when I'm in Vegas. Okay. I could see that. And, you know, again, I reference Maria Menunos, but to some times where I could just see she's just like, what? Like, what? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't know. And I. that's what I, that's what I figured. Um, when we were talking, it's looking at the, there's a quote about Demi Lovato and I, I know Demi, uh, that was a while back, right? Then. So what, so would you re- retract that one? What, you know, about what her, it hers? It? It's, it's, I think if, I feel if Demi Lovato can sing, why can't I, I've been through way more, um, than just, you know, whatever being bullied. You know what? I think uh, that's a serious topic and I feel sorry for her about that. There is probably a lot of different things going on in regards to maybe how her pitch was and everything. I really feel like at this point in my life, I'm not going to like focus on that. Um, and I only wish her the best. And now I'm, I jam to some of her new songs that come out and my daughter loves it. So I don't think just one song, if I don't like it, doesn't mean I'm not going to like it. But oh, is that what you were saying in that quote? Because these yeah. quotes are taken out of context. That's why yeah. I want you to explain them. Was yeah, it just I'm not going to like everyone, every So every it was song, more about not liking one particular song? Yeah. Okay. Then, so, all right. Some so, of her stuff's catchy. I'll, I'll give her that a yeah, little. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, I forgot whatever. It was like Summer Nights. I don't know what was her latest one. Confident? Is it the confidence? Is, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's doing good. It, her voice shocked me in this last one I heard. I was like... Who sings that? Because I got a whiff of it, and it was like totally a different sound from her oh, voice. Oh, I know what you're talking yes. about. I felt the same way. I was like, who yes. the hell is that? Let me try to figure <laughs> it out. Mm-hmm. I'll look for it. It was a good, you know, change up. She finally, she, she was, uh, it was interesting. She was getting into it with, um, over the whole Kesha situation as well. I talked about Kesha. Yeah, what yeah. do you, yeah, what do you, what are your thoughts on Kesha? Because by the way, I. I'm happy she spoke up, changed changed her group and now she's like feeling empowered and that's all women need to do you know get through something right and and i feel that would kind of ring home for you because you've been through something similar um i have to say 
the the Kim Kardashian quotes are, I just think are amazing. These are my favorite of all. Right. I <laughs> mean, I I so I have here. Uh, I think you said this on on Nick Ritchie again. Give to give him a little shot, another oh shout out. Oh boy. I've been beating out Kim on a lot of things. I think I've surpassed her in certain aspects. Then again, I conduct myself and my brand a different way and live my life on a very different journey. I think I'm doing very well, if not better. Okay. So, so that's just how, how would I you feel. explain that? <laughs> that's just how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Just like. Again. I can see where there's some logic here because it's subjective, right? And it's two different, she has a different career path, you have a different career path. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean. Well, I, you're kind of doing it all on your own too, in a sense, like it's. I definitely do it all on my own. You know, I mean, I, I, you, yeah. even, you're even, I've called you. Yeah. <laughs> your phone number. I, you called went, me. You were handling all your own PR. Or yeah. You, that was impressive. I was, that's so, That is amazing. Not easy. Yeah. To be on, I mean, to. Again, smart. That's why I'm, <laughs> I really am perplexed by all things Fair Abram. <laughs> I have to say, um, the the Nicki Minaj, you got in a battle with a Twitter battle with Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. and um, Nicki came at you. She was watching your show, and it was about you and your mom. And um, what the, I think it was, and again, I've written down here from the great people at Wikipedia. <laughs> Watching a drama-filled episode of Teen Mom, OG, uh, Farrah is a C to her mother. Um, she was like, bitch, go do some porn and leave grandma alone. And then obviously you, you responded, um, which I can understand. Your mother didn't open her legs and have that child be happy. She's helping. Oh, stop talking to her like that on TV till and that she still this again. This is more from Nikki. I'm sorry. Right, Nikki. That was from Nikki. That's totally from Nikki. Yeah. Right, um, and then you said, "To be clear, my mom doesn't help me. I help her. I love and care for my mom. Stop disgusting talk, um, et cetera, et cetera." Which again makes sense. I, when I read this, I was kind of excited for you <laughs> because Nikki was yeah. watching. Yeah. He said that. He's like, I yeah. hate to say it as like yeah. again the older yeah. guy who's away from all this. <laughs> I'm like Nikki Minaj is watching you as a fan. Yeah, that's cool. I mean. There's so many people who you would not expect to be watching my show. And just like over the years, whether I'm out like at a football game or just, I mean, people who I used to listen to um, seeing and be on TV, I run into them and they're like, Sarah. And then they like know me and they're talking about my so life. So who are some of the people? Because we get it too from the one year we did a reality show and I'm, or the, I get a lot from being on Howard four times. I get a lot of people. Yeah, from celebrities. Chasing Maria Menounos. Right. And, and it's very flattering. But wh who are some of the people that, that, so one that are really, fans of Teen Mom? Okay, so one that really made um, like an impact to me. Um, I was randomly out one night in Miami and so Trina, who's like a rap artist, she was like, at a, like, I just randomly walk in. She's like, Farrah, come up. And she was playing that night. So I ended up hanging out with her. And she's like, I, I don't know. She's just like, I watch your show. I really, like, relate or something. And it was just so, like, surreal. I know that many of you may not understand it. But I think when you're growing up and maybe it's a favorite of your sisters or someone else. And then you're just randomly there. And everything's just, like, flipped around. It's yeah. like, holy hell. <laughs> Wait, so we, would you exchange information with some of them and just kind of stay in touch or be friends? Or I mean, I also like ran into Ludacris too when I was traveling for um, like an appearance and no, I don't ever, I feel like it would ruin it for me because there's been a lot of people who I've met like Bethany Frankel who I felt like I would totally get along with, love her. That's why I went on her show and instead it was like... Shit, get me away from this bitch. Okay, can I tell I you what I, yeah. can wow. I explain what I think happened <laughs> on that show? Yeah. Because we did the show as well. Um, tough time for you her. You and Maria did the Maria show. Maria and I did yeah. the show. Yeah. Tough time for her because she was going through a divorce. And, um, and I get tough times. I mean, my parents went through a divorce when I was older. And, and, and you know, it was – and the divorce, the from what I gather, the husband was going after everything. Everything she had worked for and built up was – you know, and in the middle of all that pressure – Maybe divorce, that's why she was like, no, you can't make sex toys. No, you can't do well, TV. I think, well, Maybe that's why she was like Well, that. no, no, no. <laughs> what I think is – no, but oh, I think Look at me is, now, Bethany. I won an award. It's making but, money. Okay, but, yeah. but I think if you had that conversation with her, it would be different. What I'm trying to say is – yeah. She had so much pressure on her. What happens is a producer will slam a bunch of papers like this into your hands. And then you say, no, producer, 
Well, no, Maria, w- who's back there? Exactly. <laughs> no, you're right. But when you're completely overwhelmed and you're not in the flow or rhythm of the show yet, because I know that she's really a champion of a lot of other women. I know yeah, that a lot yes, of celebrities. Yes, yes. And I think that um, I feel like if you got a, I just feel like it, not to take off her, I feel like if you got a second crack at her, I think things would be different. But the producers or whatever, and I get this is just guess, they go yeah. for the knee jerk. That's It's just easy. Let's yeah. just beat up fair. Let's be judgmental. Let's do this. Let's do that. Rather than what we're doing now, yeah. having the diff- conversation, you know, to say, well, just to kind of explain yourself. Um, and let's try to get to the logic of it. But I think she's probably thinking, I really have to make this show work. The producers want me to do this. I'm going after the, who's watching in the afternoon. It's not the team mom audience. It's probably older judgmental people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, <clears throat> it was just kind of an easy thing. Yeah. I mean, if I ever have my own talk show, which hopefully one day I have my own talk show, I will not be conducting myself as I've been treated on so many talk shows. You well, do, now you have yeah. Farrah and Friends, so you do have your platform. Yeah, too. I'm yeah. actually reconfiguring that. I'm switching to a new company because I was having some similar issues of people telling oh. me how things right. need to be, and I just know what I need to be to be successful. But, yeah, so I look forward to having, like, an on-TV talk show. We, by the way, we can help you with that. Okay. We've launched a couple in our day. We really will. No, I would. Well, I will take it by storm. Well, we call I, Kevin. Yeah. So he is actually known as the Hollywood career coach. He has launched so many careers in Hollywood. He wow. is He's unbelievable. I got he this. Sit, it's uh, easy. He, <laughs> sit, he sits with, yeah. I mean, not to not to yeah, take he, too much time, but he sits with 250, over 250 after buzzers. After buzz is his, uh, he and Maria's network. Yeah. Sits with them for over an hour, like three times a year to help them understand the best ways to go about, uh, you know breaking into hollywood and their own ni- like finding their niche and and and, and going that's a, a blessing path. though yeah. it's a blessing to yeah. have that. i mean it, yeah. like i've had so that very off and on in my life and the few people who did take their time on me and invested in me i think it's really helped so yeah that's great that you do well, that well yeah. here's the thing you're very well known so you can all, that's already easy to work with and then you know you have a way of saying these things that are just totally polarizing and get you a lot of press and unfortunately that drives everything and then the fact that you have a lot of life experience for someone young. And which, a large following. And a large following. But a lot of times with young people, it's hard for them to go into the talk show world because they haven't lived a lot yet. They think they have, but they really have I get that. I got you on but that. But you've really lived. I mean, you have. So, um, And I just always try to learn from people. I think that's like one of the greatest gifts of, I guess, being alive. <laughs> being alive. I mean, whether I'm on an airplane or... I just I have like fond memories of just meeting random people. Yeah, and again, if the best talk <laughs> show. Interesting. Yeah, but no, but the best That's talk shows that was Oprah. She was just like, I'm just interested in people. I wanted you to look at me when she said being on an airplane because that's how we met. So that's oh, really? funny that oh, he said God, that. Why don't you guys yeah. connect? <laughs> I, I tried, but he avoided eye contact. Uh, uh, I hate to bring it back, but you mentioned something that I wanted to bring up. Uh-huh. I want to hear about your interaction with Ludacris. What, what oh, was yeah, like? you're right. That's oh, my like? God. Yeah, my friends are always like, Pharaoh, why didn't you like talk to him more? Um, so I was in between. I was just leaving Toronto from two club appearances. And hit like all these guys were like, Farah, Farah, you know, like they start the shouting, com- they start the commotion. And then I was like, hi. And like, I'm trying to like do my thing, get to the gate and like go. And they're like, oh, we're, we're with Ludacris. And like literally, cause I was like, there's so many guys. And I was like about my little world that I'm in when I'm at the airport. I was like, hi Ludacris. Like I'm a huge fan. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'm going to sit over here. And I just like. That's all. That was it. And I was like, okay, this is super awkward. I was like just taking calls and like just keeping busy because I was like, it's, I was sitting there with them for an hour. And then I was like, uh, but then I was like, I said I was a fan and it's probably weird now. No, I, I think that he very clearly showed that he was a fan first. Yeah, <laughs> it was just weird because he had like all those guys yeah. and I was just by myself. So it's interesting though. Celebrities in general, everybody is a fan of somebody. Right? Yeah. We're mm-hmm. all, we all have somebody above us that That's we're just right. like, oh my God, if I could ever meet that person. Or I'm, and, and, that just, and that just brings you down to earth, I think, in, yeah. in times yeah. of, not you in general, but anybody. Yeah. It brings could, you back yeah. to reality sometimes. Yeah, could and someone, it was cool that they all knew, but yeah. yeah. Could someone like Ludacris be your type? Like maybe we should play matchmaker there. Maybe someone like Gemini, but he's like dating. Um, okay. 
So you, you could be into the music game, maybe like somebody who is. I think I'd have fun. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know that you were talking on Nick a little bit about how you uh, seem to avoid dating celebrities, not completely, but it just isn't something that you are reaching for. Um, yeah, I just sometimes feel like their interests aren't my interests. So. Oh. All right. Down to earth, girl. Mm -hmm. I get really? That. So y so no athlete, no super athlete, no celebrity. You won't you won't dabble in that area i mean it, i think you just have to meet the right one but off the bat i would say no you got to be convinced you got to uh, yeah is it because you're wise enough to know that with a celebrity um it has it's so much about them a fellow mm -hmm. celebrity or an athlete that's kind of hard for you i mean i have great friends be. you know who do that and guys that i would possibly date but i just no, I mean, I really evaluate people like they're a friend. That's who I work with. That's who I could date. You know, that's who I can rely on. That's who I can hire. Like, I really like evaluate people and I like to leave it there so I don't have issues because I'm like on to the next thing a lot. I don't like to waste so much energy on. Do we have a lot of celebrity friends? Mm, I would call them acquaintances. Yeah, but not friends. No, I don't really have many friends. Maybe I have one. See, I had a feeling that you di di that you didn't. I don't mean it, that to be disrespectful, yeah. but I feel like you don't have anybody that goes for that go goes to bat for you. That kind of if I, yeah, it sticks so, up for you or, yeah. or jumps and I think, in. Yeah, and I think that's this is where it comes from. Is when I was growing up, my closest friends all got in physical fights with me and really did some bad stuff to me. And then also with my family, never kind of having my back or you know, boyfriends having my back. It, it's just kind of like a cycle I avoid. So I'm just like, this is how it needs to stay and it'll let me do my life. Well, you that know? explains why you're so strong and why yeah. you're brave enough to go out there and say the things that sometimes people would be too afraid to say. Maybe so. You know? I mean, a lot of people just are followers, you know. If yeah. they think someone's so cool or if they have all these followers or something, they need to con you know, contribute to them in some kind of way, um, even when they're wrong. And I don't really think that that's right. The trick you're going to find, and I think it's good that you're in therapy or you've been in therapy. The it's a consistent thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what? I know. I know. The thing you're, you're going to find is how, e how to not end up being a nice queen, you know, someday. One of these really strong women. Uh -huh. You say ice queen? Ice queen, meaning... You, I know what ice you're queen so, is. You know, right? So you're so cold and you yeah. don't feel because that's the that's just the safest way to be because you've been beat up so much and you have no one to trust. So you have to be this this tough, tough, tough woman and you have to get tons of money and tons of power and rule with the iron fist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and you see that with a lot of female celebrities um, and they are alone. And so the trick is, you know, how do you... You know, are you aware that it could go that way? I'm very aware. I think Dr. Drew has told me that so many times because um, that's who's like the guy who mm -hmm. I get to see a lot because of our show. Um, I, I have to say, like, I feel feelings. I still, you know, date. I, I do every I mean, I know what my balance is, but I also know I have really high boundaries right now in my life. And I'm just like getting to some good space in my life and I got to, you know, just take a little bit of time for me, my daughter, my little family, my puppies, all that good stuff. Right. And I, 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 I don't think I'm going to end up a nice queen. Good. All yeah, right. Good. And do you think you'll be <laughs> single for, do you, th you think, you know, it'll be into your thirties where you'll like settle down or? I mean, I always thought I'd be like married by 25 and it's just not happened. I mean, I still date Patty Stanger's, you know trying to find so Patty oh, Stinger really? the millionaire she's matchmaker like, I love it wow she's like maybe San Diego I don't know she's fun I always give my friends the opportunity to send me out um it just you know it's hard to find what I like yeah I get it <laughs> someone who can understand the business too and yeah and who just can be like, comfortable with it and I think sometimes if you're like a very dynamic person you have so many levels that some people just you know if I didn't open up they would never see all the sides of me so it's just you know, some people are not broad enough. Who's your inspiration? Um, female inspiration. Man, a female inspiration I have is I like Marie For Forleo. If you guys know her, she does like B school. She does a lot of speaking. Hmm. Um, she has her own website. Cool. Uh, 
She, I don't know. Would you say is she she's in like Success Magazine. She's in Forbes. Oh, there we go. How okay. to build a, how to build a business in life, right? And is, she, you know, interviews Tony Robinson, lots of the same people who and Oprah and the School of Great Virgin guy. And uh, so almost like a female Tim Ferriss. I don't know if you know Tim Ferriss, but he's he's for the males. Yeah. He's all about success. Yeah. And excellence. So That's I like a lot of women like that. And she's just I did her school and I like it. Self-improvement kind of people. Yeah. And she just does like good tips and inspiration. And I like happy people like that. You seem very well read. Like you, you really do it's a lot why of research just, into this I'm stuff. telling you, like I know I'm going to get a hard time for being so soft on you, Farrah, but I'm sorry. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm, blow, I'm just, I'm very impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Well, I, 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 what it, it was funny because we said uh, when I mentioned that I had booked Farah, and then someone in the booth was like, uh, "We have a guest on Monday. We have a guest on Monday." And then Kevin and Roxy were like, "No, not a guest. The guest. <laughs> the guest. <laughs> the guest." Yeah. Um, all right. So now going back to being the degenerate that I am. You're not a degenerate. Listen, Stop saying listen, that. My he inner wants, to go, no, he no, wants my, to go back in time, ladies. My inner right? degenerate. Thank you. Yeah. You're not, though. For everybody listening, when you really are not. This was something fun that came up, and hopefully this, yeah. this will be fun for you to do. We, we, we had a fun discussion based on seeing um, uh, your first video. Uh oh. And no, it was great. It was this. We we Girl, we thought three you, bodies ago. We, we thought you rocked yeah. it though. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, that no. Wait a second. Now oh, let's sorry. discuss. Okay. So we went around the room, and said, uh, "Okay, is Farrah good in bed? You know, looking at this, can we just judge from this if she's good in bed?" So. It was. A, what did I get? For One me, out of ten? no, no. For knee jerk, <laughs> I could. I just saw something in your eyes. I said, she's great in bed. For me, it's like, it, you know, when you try to judge if a girl's good in bed, they're either a good dancer or they're batshit crazy. Those are the two of the go-tos I have. Oh, I've you met know, some that are everything. Right? Not okay, good. Well, the other. Right. But when I saw yours, I, <laughs> I said, I thought good in bed. Now, you guys, everyone, oh, everyone be honest because she's here because now they're all going to like lies. Or, oh, I thought you were oh, good Oh, we haven't recorded. Because we all. <laughs> <laughs> <that's right. laughs> okay. are like, I got proof. So, yeah. so let's, listen, can we go around the horn, so to speak, Roxy, we'll start with you. Yeah, I thought. Critiquing the video. I mean, I have never slept with you myself, but it looked <laughs> like you were great in bed from what I saw. Oh, thank so you. So congratulations to that. <laughs> uh, you I, look at, Ashley. Be honest. Yeah, you you did things I don't even know. Like oh, I've never seen that before. So right, like, I oh, props weird. to you. All right, let me go to the booth. <laughs> but I've never watched. Let it me go to the booth because so. I'm already calling bullshit. Because one of them, I don't know who it was, said they didn't think they. No, didn't like, oh no, I've it, had no, way it wasn't better. Me. It was Paris Hilton that I said didn't look like she knew what she was no, doing. No, I brought up Paris Hilton to you and said, no, that's a celebrity that looked like she was dead in bed and she was not. Being but responsive. Her, her go to the booth. Who like in the booth shorter. said it? We'll pull yeah. the tape. <laughs> you know, Jared at thirty-one. Phenomenal. Just a, she's a you trooper. You did. I remember you saying she's that. a trooper. Thanks, Cri Cadet. All right, Lauren, <laughs> Christian. You know, I haven't had the pleasure of viewing the tape, so okay. I can't speak to that. But I, I'm sorry, Fair. I think I did say I thought you'd be bad in bed because I thought you had pretty girl syndrome. You know uh. what that is. No, I don't. So when you're pretty and you just because I get pretty sexual. Oh, okay, <laughs> there you go. Girl. See, I didn't know. I didn't know your true flavor. Oh. See, but now I feel it, and I I see what a deep person you are in in hearing you talk now, and I can tell that anyone who's got that much soul has to be good in the bedroom. That's why. To that sister. That's why I quietly think Lauren, our little hippie chick in the booth there, is good in bed for that same reason. Oh my God. Jared, go ahead. I mean, excuse me. Uh, I'll go twice. No, no, no. Christian, <laughs> Christian our executive producer. I uh, have had the chance to study the oh. uh, video uh, okay. closely you know, my stroke when my too? wife's not at home. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as uh, Roxy said, she hasn't had the pleasure of sleeping with you. Now, Farrah, uh, we have not slept together in real life, but, you know, I may have envisioned it. And the way I envisioned it, you were fantastic. Oh, uh, thank you. By the way, you. he's the highest Fantasy IQ on land. the show. I, by the way, I... I feel like I've got to get the uh, I have to get the part to really <laughs> help me a little bit more. But I need I mean, my I'm going to send your wife some parts to, and you some. Parts. Thank you. Oh I want a fiance, by the way, fiance. Oh, we're almo we're okay. almost there. Um, and this may help us. This may help us get there faster. So. So listen, based on this discussion, let's let's bring up some people and let's all table if we think they're good in bed or not. Oh, fun. OK, so we talked about Leo before. I heard, I, I heard though that he doesn't really like value women like and I saw what he like the look that everyone saw that he gave to Lady Gaga right 
No. Yeah, at the yeah. Um, at the, at the Golden okay, Globes. Come on, they got yeah. videos, for the old guy videos, who's videos. not hip. Yeah. I have to say, not good in bed. Really? Wow. Why? She, Why would you guys she say she bumped this? into him and he was like, Ugh, like kind of looked really mean at her. That's what happened. At like the if Globes. you're that old and you're acting that immature, no. So o- old and immature would make him not good in bed, or do you think it's? Uh, I mean, how old is he now? I don't know. No, he's, you guys. He's, he's not in his 50s. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no I think he's no. 50. I no, stop what? that. Oh, my he's God. Stop. No, no, don't no. get fair. No, no he's, in a, he's definitely in his 30s. He is we'll not. Leo is he's not 41. He's 41. He's 41. Yeah, he's not in his 30s. Thank God. He just won his first, like, award, right? Do you think because. Congrats to him. But do you think it's because he's too too good looking, too big of a star? Is that So it's all about him? Why does that have anything to do with, like, his. I'm trying to get the answer Interaction out of you. Interaction with women and his penis. Because just, because sometimes you don't, because it's all about you. And so you're just going to sit look, there I and mean, let the girl do all the work. Look, I mean, if you're good with it, then you know how to make it good. I feel like for some reason, looking at him, and I've seen videos and stuff, like, I'm, I am I would say he's not hot. Like, I'm not attracted to him. Okay, but so do you th- not hot, but not good in bed, though, right? I, not good in what bed. What I'm hearing from you is that you don't think he'd nef- necessarily be a generous lover. If he doesn't, like, respect women as much, he maybe is more about himself than... I'm Hell, it may only last two minutes with <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. All right, what, what do you guys think? I think Good he'd bed? be amazing in bed because I would love to be, to All right, so you're be just, in bed yeah, with Yeah, you're him, just so. lost at that. Yeah. Yeah. Have, no. have I, I think he would probably be awful. I think really? he'd probably be really bad. Why? I, I just think that he would be about himself. Nothing to first. prove. Yeah, nothing no, to prove. Nothing to prove. I think he might last a long time, but then, like, if he wanted to get up in the middle of it and go get coffee or go get a drink, <laughs> he'd just, like, get up. All right, let's go but to the I next one. But I also thought he was 50. That's let's hilarious. Let's go to the next one. boy. By the way, Maria, I mean, my fiance is like you. She's like, he just is so beautiful. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Like, it'll all work out. I, oh, Kimmy K, Kim Kardashian. Okay, good. so good I got to just not. be real. Um, uh, so some of my girlfriends have obviously F-U-C-K Kanye. And they ha- they've they not said the best of things. Oh, so I don't, I don't think it's that hard to have sex with someone like that. So, I mean. So what do we vote for her, though? I w- yeah, so I'm going to just say, like, adequate, like a 5 out of 10. Really? really? Even with that ass? I mean, what but are you going to what, what but- do with that ass? Twerk it? I'll give the twerking ass in bed <laughs> with him, and it'll probably do more. So, yeah, I would just do, like, 5 out of 10. See, and I thought, looking at her sex tape, I thought she was good because she <sighs> wanted too. to please. Yeah, her like sex tape Like, she wants to please good. your guy. That's what I thought. I you thought- guys watch. Hold on. You guys watched her sex tape. Yeah. And she, like, wasn't just laying there. Did you watch her sex tape? Yeah. We all did. I feel like... I've actually watched, like, Paris's. Yeah, I watched Paris's, too. Paris, I didn't think knew what I've she was wa- doing, but Kim, I thought she kind of, like, moved sexy. <laughs> I thought she, like, no. moved a little I was really bit. fucking confused, but okay. <gasps> what do you mean five. you were confused? You know what? Let's just, you know, maybe you should ask her how she feels, and maybe you should ask Kanye, because yeah. that's really all that matters. We're making babies. Good for them. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Who we got next? Let's see. Oh, oh duh. we, we have All right. answered that. So, I think he's really bad at sex. <laughs> okay. So you don't think Kanye West is good in bed? No. Based on the friends you have that have honestly, no. no, no, <laughs> no, huh? No. What? Yeah. What makes you? What makes you think not? I mean, from what my friends have said. Oh yeah, you have actual fact. You have knowledge. Okay, it's not my fault. He like let's uh, you know. Wait, that's not one of those things where you're like my friend, and it's really you. You're really talking about your friend. I've really never had sex with him. (laughs) No, no, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I have no reason to lie. No, of course not. But you, it seemed like you had that gut reaction, like ew, one time, gross, like not good. But and the friends, I I don't know what kind of signs you're getting from me, but that's not it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) <laughs> and the and, and the friends say what is he just is he just quick or is I mean he I'm not or? gonna go into what they've said it was like right. kind of like gross and disgusting but I oh. feel like not so good at sex and that's that I'm not here to like yeah all right girls what do you think Montebal meat Bob mm, I mean what what his whole thing is like Kanye is Kanye is the best in the world so I think talk about a selfish lover I, I think mean he's rude be. to women God only knows what it's like to be married to him. You want to fuck that? <laughs> I I don't know the answer to this one for me. Like, cause I, 
I can't tell because I think I feel like he like worships her, meaning Kim. Yeah. Like and just like puts her on this pedestal. So I feel like in that instance they must have really good sex. But I don't know with I don't know how he would be if he wasn't like it super in love with a girl. Don't you feel like he it's would be having point, sex? Ashley. So yeah, if if I was Kim, maybe it would be good sex. But as me, I feel like if we were having sex, <laughs> he would take out his phone and tweet like, "Just thought of this. Need money from you? Like, come on, Mark <laughs> yeah, Zuckerberg yeah, 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 totally. or something." So yeah. that's okay. All right, let's go to the next one. I mean, why was he, do, you know, directing tweets at his ex Amber Rose? Yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah, that was. Mm. I don't know. Why do you guys think? Educate well, the old man. Well, luckily, I think they're all okay now. They've all okay. had a truce. But uh, I, he I don't had Kim take a picture with Amber, and now it's all good. Yeah. Mm, yeah so why I do you think? Oh, oh, because oh wait, wait, that's so sleazy. Wait, Throw it's, that it's, shit in the garbage. Is it because Amber knows where the bodies are buried? Is that what you're saying? Well, Amber <laughs> said that she put her finger up his butt or whatever mm, or something. No. Sarah, you something. know that. I mean, Farah, that stimulates, right? Yeah. Doesn't mean so, you anyways, I think oh, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is good at sex. Nice. Right. Because of this picture, that. and it looks like she could really. No, I think she's batshit crazy. She's ghetto. <laughs> See, like I said, she's ghetto. Yes. Look at the guys she's dates. You know they have dick, and she's definitely laying it down. Oh, good for her. Good I, for her. I don't you mean guys to agree? keep agreeing with you, but and yeah, also I'm... you could have sex to some of her songs. So I just like I love it for that. Yeah. I, I I think there's no way she's bad. I think she's probably a freak in the sheets. Would do whatever. <laughs> Ash? I I. I really have to think about this one, but I, w- I guess, yeah, she'd be good. She'd be good. Yeah, because she, Kev? I feel like if you if you have rhythm, then you're probably good in bed, and she's it's, got rhythm. <laughs> it's tough to ask me because I, I, the way you said Kanye is with Kim, like, these girls are just so hot that you're just, when you're a guy, you're just gaga. It's, I don't know, that, uh, you had me at hot, right? So right. Jared at 31, you're nodding your head. Right, yeah, it'd be it'd be it would be over for you so quickly. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're like she's awesome. You know what I mean? Just because she's so hot. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Poor, it's so sad. Uh, well, okay. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I mean, I would say if there's enough money, it could be great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> he said recently that he is hung like a horse. So at least we know that he's got that going. I for mean, him. he has a gorgeous wife. I, I think his kids are amazing. I mean, but. Not your type. <laughs> no, not the type, but is he the some No, like the body build, but, like thinking of how whatever. You don't think competitive? Like he's always got to be the best and I got to show you. F- That's a good point. Star I mean, who I, I, I am. definitely think his wife and him have amazing sex, but not with this. I mean, I, I mean, I, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have some presidential sex. So too. scale one. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait a second. Seriously. Scale one to 10. So we got the five for whoever was Kim scale one to 10 for, I mean, for, it's a toughie with that one. With Trump. Maybe like an eight, but it's Ooh. with like, you know, it would be a 10 with his wife. Maybe like an eight for someone else. But That's mm. great. That's a great rating. God, yeah. I'm excited for the Donald. Okay. <laughs> let's go to yeah. the next one. We could be talking about the next president of the United I States. Know, I know, I <laughs> know. Uh, okay. Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. That doesn't even look like Lindsay It doesn't Lohan. even look like Lindsay I Lohan. I kind of think it's like a mess with that. Um, like a hot mess or, or? Or hit or miss. Like a hit or a miss, miss, miss. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think any of that's good. I mean, one of my friends have had sex with her. And I didn't hear any good thing yeah. about it. Well, there's like two Lindsays. We've got, well, we got like three Lindsays. We've got like Mean Girls Lindsay when she was like acting and like killing it. And then we have like Lindsay that like fell off the wagon a little bit. And then we have Lindsay now who's like with a really great guy that her mother wants her to get married to. So the really rich one. The yeah. Billionaire. So I think there's like, I don't know. I feel like there's a, a different sexual beast with each Lindsay Lohan. You don't th- you don't for sure. Good or bad. You know? You know, I think the hit or miss thing was actually a perfect way to describe it. Too, too with actors, remember they're actors. So if they want to turn it on, mm, right? If you were saying you have to play a role where you have to play this sex spot, they can do it. So, you know, maybe she can turn it on or off. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. I feel the same way, Kev. Right? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Batman. Oh. Ben Affleck. Oh. I don't know. I find him attractive. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you think and you think good in bed. Yeah. Yeah, it was scale of one to ten. Mm, ten. Yes. Ten. <laughs> that's that's it. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Roxy is not moving. No, I think amazing. Uh, how else did he get these women to stay married to him for so long? Yeah. When apparently he can be a nightmare sometimes. So yeah, I think he's probably. But the, best the tats, because it's probably the craziness oh, that makes him better. And the Boston, I bet he can fuck like a racehorse. I okay. bet he's amazing. All right, <laughs> next one. I don't even know what that means. It's, no, I it's think a, it's pee it's like a, a rabbit, racehorse, right? but okay. Fuck like a rabbit. Yeah, I don't know. Up oh, the great Taylor Swift. Well, I heard she just got married, right? Did she? Uh, I didn't a secret really? wedding with that like DJ guy. 
Did she really? Oh, Calvin Harris? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's I all over know. everywhere right now. Except, yeah, we're, but we're watching Star Trek episodes. <laughs> yeah. here, like, you're the hippest yeah. person to ever come you in know, this place. Tanner's so probably what in do we space think? right now. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay. what do you think with her in bed? Man, I, I mean, I used to think, like, she'd probably be good in bed, like, when it was more, like, redhead Taylor Swift. But now it's, like, she's, like, some, like, blah woman with the cat vibe. I don't know. I'm really confused with her. I love Taylor Swift. Don't get me wrong, but I'm really wondering about her like personal bedroom life because it doesn't seem like this shit's not knocking. Like I don't know what's going on. Like you like, like Romeo and Juliet era Taylor Swift. Oh my god, I do love that video. Did yeah. you see that one video? Oh my god, it just makes me want to dream. Yeah. What was redhead Taylor? I don't even remember that. I'm sure like her curly thing. hair. Like oh god, I don't even remember that. That's in the crazy. truck. It was her first like hit. Oh okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. And what do you guys think? Good in bed? No. Roxy? Kev, no way. I think she's cold. I, she comes off to me. I feel like she could be a little bit cold maybe, but I've never met her, so I hate when I people say that and then they never met somebody. But What was that other one? It doesn't come off super seemed, like, warm. she crazy with the guys. Red? Oh, blood, uh, blood. Yeah, yeah, you uh, got it. You bad got blood. It. Yeah, yeah, something. I mean, yeah. she's hot sometimes and then not other times. Uh, it, maybe if she wanted to be, she could. Like okay. if she really put her mind to something because she is very good at – at things so. i just think she's so <laughs> but she's so she's so serious and she's about so many bigger issues now and i have to say almost bored i know it's gonna sound weird but borderline nerdy so i i could see mm. where maybe she's not gonna be she's maybe too sane for us yeah but you always <laughs> say that she is very good at making friends and being everybody's friend so if she's kind of people pleasing maybe she's maybe she's good she's good at that maybe all right let's go know. next one Oh, the great Howard Stern. For some reason, I think he'd be good in bed. I don't know why. Y you know what? <laughs> Howard Stern. Was <gasps> you, you don't know why? Hmm. Can you guess? Oh, no, I'm not going to guess. <laughs> you know why, I think? Why? Pleaser. Like, he wants to prove. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's it, it has, Nothing's come easy to him. Not his career. You know, nothing. Yeah. So that's a guy who's going to fight. Yeah. He's going to fight to show, you know what? Uh, I, I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to take care and of I you. And I kind of love, though, how he talks about his wife and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think, like, good guy there. So good guy, but the, and also good. good. Good at sex and, like, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. All good right. at anything Agreed. he puts his mind to. Right. Agreed. S let's go to the last one. Who do we got? Selena Gomez. I think Selena mm. Gomez is, like, pretty and sexy, and I think she is good at, you know, sex. I think she should not have dated Justin Bieber. You don't think that really? helped her out? She's number one on Instagram right now. I feel like well, it could have helped a little bit. In, in you the know fame what? I'm, I'm happy that if it helps her in her fame. I mean, right now I'm just talking about sex. And I oh, have to just say. Oh, got it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Wait, so, wait, so ju you don't think Justin's good in bed? <laughs> Shit. Have you seen how, like, his makeover he has to do to, like, seem so, like, rough and tough and, like, <laughs> fucking, like, ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. But anyways. I love Selena. She's great in bed. She's great in bed. Okay, guys. Seems like Selena was the best in bed of all of them. She was yeah. your your number one pick. Uh, yeah, I think she's good. Uh, now you have me thinking about Justin Bieber. Yeah, I want to hear picture. about. I want to hear about Justin. What do you guys think? Uh, I actually think Justin probably be good in bed. Good in bed. Yeah. Saw that penis picture. I he think he would be good in bed only because he loves himself and he thinks he's so amazing. So he's really confident. So he would just like. As long as there was a mirror on the ceiling. Yeah, he'd be like, <laughs> you know, an American Psycho when he's like staring at himself having sex. Like that'd probably be him, like staring at the mirror. Okay. Sex. I always think it's just a challenge for guys when you're getting so much ass and it's so easy. Um, you know, it's like, what do you have to prove? Unless you're thinking to yourself, I want to create a great reputation. I want every girl who leaves my bed to go talk about me. But but if they're not like that, if they don't care because they're already so kind of good in their brain, I don't know. Jared, Jared at thirty one. Uh, yes, yes. I want to get I want to get a header out of way in. You know, what do you think about you know some of these guys that it's just when the when it's so easy for them to get girls. Do you think that they work hard in bed or are going to be good in bed? You know when it when it comes down to it, Kevin, you have to think like girls just boggle guys' minds. So I don't care how much of a celebrity you are as a guy, like you're going to try to please like a gorgeous woman. You're going to get nervous, and, and no matter how good looking of a dude you are, so I I think more often than not. They're going to – like, if Selena Gomez walks in, I don't care if you're Leonardo DiCaprio. He's going to try his, his best to, to please her in bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, very interesting, people. Yeah. Very interesting. I learned a lot. Well, uh, let me just <laughs> jump in for oh, a second please, because Christian. I completely disagree. Uh, I think that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, 
obviously Bieber has had the opportunity with Selena Gomez. I think that they will get the opportunity. They'll do everything they can to get them into bed. But then once they're there, it's about whatever they want. And, I mean, I think that you guys were talking about Leo before. You know, he's fucked all these chicks, so many. He can't be good at it. It's it's just like, you know, I don't even know if it's fun for him anymore. You know, it's just more like, oh, I can do this. So maybe the ladies seem to disagree. and Maybe I'm bitter. But uh, <laughs> I just don't. I don't think either of them would possibly be good. I, I, I agree that Trump yeah. would probably be better than both of them. Uh, yeah, I kind yeah. of I dig that. Right. <laughs> By the way, Farrah, any thoughts on the election? Oh, boy. The tough one, right? <laughs> I'm like, do I want a woman to be president for the first time? A businessman to be president right. for the first time? Lots of people rooting for Bernie. Um. I just make up my own mind. I'm not. Have you made it up yet, though? Or are you still? Oh, undecided? my gosh. I wanted to go do like a vote for the nominations. And it was like a one sided nomination vote. I was going in there and they're like, well, once you choose red, you're red. And I was like, well, I don't know any of these people and I want to choose the other. So I'm like a liberal or independent. Ind- independent. So it didn't really work out for me doing those nominations. Mm. Well, all bets will be off when it's the uh, the presidency, you yeah. know. So it, the nominations are bullshit. So, it, true. So <laughs> if this comes to no, I actually agree. That's why I'm very torn. You know, we know yeah. we have people who know the Clintons, and I, there's a lot of interesting things about them. But what I like about Trump is I like the idea of blowing up the two party system because it is it isn't right for you to just say, "Oh, well, now I'm all red or I'm blue," because that's like not I've life. never been a real political person. Like I don't play politics. I, I just don't have time for it, and I. I hate that. So is it really okay that I am all about for a business person? Well, I don't really agree with like all the radical stuff that, I mean, I saw him the other day get like booed or something. He was like fighting with the crowd and like, I don't want to see any of that either. So I'm kind of just taking things into consideration even more so now than just being like, I'm more of a business person, but is that the right business person? I don't know. So you don't know. You're undecided. A little bit right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, so, so far, before we send you on your way, did, I know there was talk about your a podcast, whatever that we needed to promote. Is there is there a podcast? So it's off right now because I'm switching companies because it's a little disagreement. Oh, we're down at podcast one. Yeah, the good people, at Uncle Norm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Some people can't handle me. It's all right. God, I, lo- I can't wait to find out why. Where, <gasps> you know, I can't wait to find why. I mean, like, no one tells me no, 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 and says I can do so many things. You have the capability to do whatever you want. It's just a podcast. Okay, but wait. So they're telling you you can do what you want. And I couldn't record four shows in one day. I couldn't add sound bites. That's Damn. interesting because when you mentioned your time slot, it was pretty long that I could for us to be able to come on. You had mentioned yeah, it was like three to seven thirty or something, and I was like, "Wow, that's a long." And podcast. they completely changed on me. So, so it was because you wanted to. They what did they tell you? They didn't have the studio time, or did they tell you that it's not creatively possible to do four in a day? They say a bunch of things that are lies. So, and you hate liars. We learn. I mean, I'm not going to deal with it. And people can sabotage or lie to me all they want. I don't have time for it. But I wish them all the best, and they are great people. I just. You know, I, you. I work differently. So do they. And God bless us. Well, <laughs> well what if I told you that there's a little place called After Buzz TV that would be a wonderful, wonderful home for you? I know you've been there, but we have new studios. And I got to check it out. Yeah. Though. The yeah. New, well, actually, yeah. my friend um, Heather Mariana, I think, was in After Buzz, the new Bravo show that went on hiatus after two weeks. So mm-hmm. Heather Mariana was going in there. It's called Tour Group. And they traveled all over the world. And so she had just said that she was in there, and I was speaking to someone. I can't wait to stop by, though. Phil's oh, Feet Tech. Phil, what was did, – did, did we do the show, the, the Bravo show that you're talking about? So Phil's Feet Tech runs all of After Buzz. He's captain of the Tour USS After Buzz. She's, like, white and, like, has black hair. Heather Mariana, she's very loud. I actually know her. I, I love yeah. her. I took a hosting class with her years ago, but she left because she's like, I don't need this. I've already got all these followers on, uh, on YouTube, and she actually did. And Don't you love it? I get her like, newsletter now. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah. So I did actually mom and me beauty kits with her for Sophia and I. 
So, yeah, she's a great gal. She's fun to go out with. Vegas yeah, all the way. Listen, yeah, we've she got, loves it. We've got some beautiful studios down there, and Gosh. also we could do a video component as well. Yeah. And I, I, I and th that's what I need. Yeah, well, that's what we can do. There's You're just some awesome, fun stuff that I would love to do and grow on. Hey, I embrace someone's brand and how they want to run things. Just don't you know, tell me I can do whatever I want, and then don't and give then it to me. Right. 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 No, that's on, not right. In terms of the, the Heather interview, I just want to give a shout-out to Candace Camacho, who was our after oh, host I love that Candace. did the interview. Shout-out so. to Candace. Yeah. Candace yeah. Camacho. <laughs> Joe. And Heather. <laughs> um, yeah. So I would love, and listen, always know you can come back here and, you know, you were so good to sit in the hot seat. I'd love you to just sit Tomorrow and co show. Just come and sit and co-host <laughs> with us. We, we will get you a costume, a nice Star Trek. I could be a cadet. Yes. Hey. Yeah, yes. you would be an ambassador. I'm going to be on my own planet. It's called the Fair Planet. Yeah, I thought it was Fair Land. That's right. You'd be from the USS Fair. Like Phil. Phil's USS not with it. Star. Phil's not tomorrow show. He's after Buzz. Um, <laughs> anyway, any, so any let's. What, what, how do we tweet? How do we find you? All that good stuff. Uh, I, I think just get on Instagram. It's verified everything and see what I'm up to. New shows. New movies, everything. And also the web, the the website was was website updated. Website farahabraham.com. But hey, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, but I know, <laughs> but I do, but I do because that's your home, that's your yeah. base, and that's what takes the power away from all the executives in our business yes. because you can broadcast and speak directly to your fans. That's yes. the wonderful so I have world fun we're living with in. Everything on the internet. Yeah, Thank you, you guys. Thank I you. Do. We really appreciate I it. cannot wait to see you in a Star Trek outfit. I cannot wait oh to get gosh. all of your Do amazing. Do something special. Join okay. the team. Okay. Yeah. We gotta yeah. pick a color for her. What color will she be? Purple. We, oh, did she say that? Did you say purple? Yeah. Did she say purple? Oh, okay. We all right. It. We have to find it. Do they make a purple one? Uh, you can I'm make one. I'll make one. It was hard to find. It was hard to find. Call my grandma. Really? Oh, your grandma makes things? No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Anyway. All right, you guys. We're wrapping up Bye. the Tomorrow Show, and we're not going out with our signature theme. We're going out with Blowing by yeah, Farrah Blowing Abrams. out the haters, right? Bye, right. yeah. babies. Right. All right. <laughs> it's at Roxy Stryer. Yes. It's at Ashley Daniels. Yes. Yes. In the booth, it's at Gilkerson Radio. It's what, Lauren, what are you again? I always forget. At Lauren LaGrasso. At a girl. We changed it. That's right. And Christian, where do we find you? At Blackcast. Is it is it at Black? Yes, it's at, at Black Cast. Cast. That's a boy. Okay, B A B L A D T C A S D. Phil Svitek from <laughs> AfterBuzz. You have anything to say? Follow AfterBuzz TV and uh, also check out BlackHollywoodLive.com and PopcornTalk.com as well. Ooh, okay. BlackHollywood.com and Book Circle. Yep. And, and, and Book Circle. Book Circle. Yeah. And Why my book there? Most importantly, oh, really? if you're yeah. watching. Cool. Oh, that's cool. right. That's right. We did. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, wow. All right, you guys. Do I just zap out like I'm in space right now? We, we will all be beaming out soon. <laughs> yeah, most importantly, She's if you're watching on. our show, you should follow us at The Tomorrow Show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and we will be back Thursday night. Uh, in the meantime, please tell a friend about us. And uh, we're on the front page of iTunes today. Yeah, Pretty cool, right? So they can right? rate, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, please, so if you're listening on <laughs> iTunes, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I am your captain. This is the Tomorrow Show. And uh, guys. Hi, hi, Captain. Let's make it <laughs> a better tomorrow. Info at the Tomorrow be sure to follow us on social media and tell a friend about the show. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, your, your voice, voice of tomorrow, tomorrow, wishing you a better one.